What is up guys, so for this video I'm going to be going over a theory I had for Supergirl Season 3. I came up with a theory a while back, ever since the episode came out with Purity in it. The episode where Purity became Purity in that episode, Supergirl had a dream to the other two world killers. She saw three world killers really, but only two of them were cast. She didn't see the face of the third one. And ever since then, I think I even mentioned this in my review for that video, I was thinking, is Supergirl actually Pestilence? And there are a couple things that point to the, the fact that she is... And, like, one thing to the fact that she isn't. But, for this video, I'm going to go over why I think she might be Pestilence. So, without further ado, let's get into the theory. The first thing that points to the fact that Supergirl is Pestilence, and this is the big thing of the theory, this is the thing that drives the theory. Without this thing that happened already in this season, and I already mentioned it in the video, there, re there wouldn't really be a theory at all. The thing that happened, and I already mentioned this, is that Supergirl had a dream to the other two world killers, like I said. She saw rain, she saw purity, but she she saw pestilence too, but she didn't see pestilence's face. Now, there could be two reasons why she didn't see pestilence's face. One, she hasn't been cast yet, and that's true. She pestilence if she isn't Supergirl has not been cast yet, at least uh, when that film when that episode was filmed. Maybe she has been cast at this point, we don't really know, which I will talk about in a minute because a character has been cast that might be pestilence and she might not be. We don't know. And the second reason they might be hiding her face is because they're hiding a twist, which is that Supergirl is Pestilence, or maybe some character we already know other than Supergirl is Pestilence, but I mean, who could it be other than Supergirl? No other female Kryptonian is on the show other than Supergirl and Rain and Purity, as far as we know, and that makes up a pretty cool trinity or trio for this world killer thing, so maybe it's Supergirl. But really, the big thing that's driving this theory is the fact that she had this dream at all. There is no explanation for why she had this dream. There's really no reason why she would have this dream in the first place. She's not a world killer as far as we know. I'm saying she is. This, that's the whole base of this theory. But as far as we know, she's just a regular Kryptonian. So why would she be having a dream to the other world killers? The only thing that, that explains it to me is that she is a world killer herself and that she is Pestilence. That would mean that she's not actually Superman's cousin. She hasn't been naturally... She wasn't naturally born... Which would be a pretty cool twist on the character. I'm not gonna lie. Being Superman's cousin is a it would be a lot is is a lot less interesting than her being a made a like a human weapon not a human weapon a Kryptonian weapon like the rest of the world killers were. So I think that would be a a really cool twist on our origin. It would be an unexpected twist, even though I'm I'm theorizing it. Even if it comes true, if this theory comes true, I would be very very surprised. But the fact that she's having this dream at all has never been explained. Hopefully it's going to be explained in the next couple episodes until the season finale. If it isn't, that's a little weird because there is no reason why she would be having this dream other than the fact that she is actually Pestilence. So that is what is driving the theory. What The fact that she had the dream, the fact that the character in the dream Pestilence has not been shown yet, and also the fact that Pestilence hasn't been cast as far as we know. Now... I said this earlier in the video, but a character has been cast on Supergirl Season 3 who might be Pestilence, and this is the main thing that doesn't that disproves the theory if she is Pestilence. This character is Grace Parker. Grace Parker is not a character from the comics, so they could do whatever they want with her. I mean, she, they could do whatever they want with her either way, because they do that with some characters. But really, she's, she's not a comic book character, so I don't see any other reason why they would cast her other than to, for her to be Pestilence, like Purity was an original character as well. But, I also think that she might not be Pestilence, because her character description makes me think that she's only here to help Rain and find out why she, or not Rain, help Samantha find out why she's losing time. Her character description reads that she's a renowned breed surgeon in National City who has had quite a career in healing the sick and injured. Just what could the doctor be doing on Supergirl is anyone's guess, perhaps a DEO will have need of her services. So the DEO will have need of her services, and what I think that means is that they will, the DEO will use her to help Samantha find her lost time. Because there's an episode, episode 15, it's called In Search of Lost Time, which will be all about Rain searching, or Samantha searching for her lost time. So I think that she, I mean, she might be Pestilence either way, but I think that's not why she has been cast on the show. She's been cast on the show for that, to help Samantha, for that reason. So I think that my, my theory still holds true. There is another thing that kind of disproves the theory, and that thing is that Supergirl has, I think as far as we know, she was a naturally born Kryptonian. Again, as far as we know, so that might disprove the theory, the fact that she's not a Kryptonian weapon. But like I said earlier in the video, I think that they would that would just be a cool twist on her character. 
So that is a theory. In the comments down below, let me know a couple things. One, is the theory a valid theory? Do you think it makes sense? Two, do you want it to be true? And three, do you expect it to be true? Let me know all of that in the comments down below. And don't forget to, me, to follow me on Twitter or click the notification icon for better updates for my videos, for better daily updates for my videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.